Okay, remember I told you, get rid of your fractions, right? So let's get rid of our fractions. So here, I'm being, I have a seven on the denominator. To get rid of a fraction, you just undo what's in the denominator, or you undo what's happening. Since I'm divided by seven, I can multiply by seven on both sides by using the multiplication property of equality. Now remember, the seven's being multiplied by both of these terms, so I'm gonna put it in parentheses. However, instead of like using the distributive property to multiply that, I notice I'm multiplying by seven and dividing by seven. Well, those are two inverse operations that are going to compute to one. So I'd have one times negative three x minus one equals 21. Well, one times that is obviously just gonna be a negative three x minus one equals 21. Now I have a two-step equation. I just need to undo my operations. So remember, we always start with addition and subtraction. So I undo a subtraction of one. So I'm gonna add a one to both sides. Then I have negative three x equals 22. Then I'll just undo just division by negative three. So I'll, I'm sorry, I'll undo multiplication by negative three by dividing by negative three on both sides. Therefore, my final answer is going to be x equals negative 22 divided by three. And that's the way I like to leave my answers. I'll go and grab just to make sure I have the right decimal approximation. That's the way I like to leave my answers um, as a teacher. However, you might have a teacher that might be um, giving you something else or want you to do it. So if you want to round it, you could say x equals 7 point or negative 7.33. Um, repeating would be the decimal approximation of that. So there you go. That's how you do it.